and welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. This is the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. According to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, go check out their content and subscribe to them right now as I'm here to give my view and my opinion of what I read, see, and hear. Huge update as concerns the NXT on WWE and main roster call-ups after WrestleMania. WWE officials are looking at adding several talents from Ring of Honor. WWE officials are reportedly waiting for their contracts of key talents to expire so they can begin negotiations. And this is absolutely huge. You know, I just started watching ROH. You see the development. You see the progress. You see the future. And for those guys and gals to come over to the WWE would be absolutely phenomenal. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter notes that the idea behind NXT has changed a lot, a lot lately. Excuse me, as Triple H loves all the uh, loves all the praise he gets for NXT on social media, as well as should because Triple H is really morphing that thing out and he's making this thing absolutely awesome. WWE originally was looking to train new talents from the bottom to the main roster, but it appears they are recruiting top talents for the NXT brand itself. The idea is to replace some of the top indie stars who can already work good matches with more indie stars, and that makes more sense. I am more in favor of that myself. Now, regarding call-ups, like I said before, there's no word on when NXT champion Kevin Owens or Sami Zayn uh, getting brought to the main roster, but there are, but there has been a lot of talk and speculation about NXT Women's Champion Sasha Banks, Adrian Neville, and Charlotte getting called up. With how WWE likes to introduce new talents after WrestleMania in the whole promotion process, it's possible that we see new main roster talents in April. What I'm getting out of this report, ladies and gentlemen, is this. The night after WrestleMania, the events and the shows and the storylines after WrestleMania is going to be more notable. It's going to be more notorious. It's going to get this thing, get the ball rolling because... Like I said, the feeling and the vibe behind WrestleMania and the build to WrestleMania this year is so lackluster. Now, like I said, I'm not going to you know, come on here and rip apart WrestleMania because we know the, the, the prestige and, and, and the history and, and, the, and the significance. We know the value of WrestleMania. But you know what? Let's boost up the value of WrestleMania a little bit more. Why don't we have Kevin Owens defend the NXT Championship at WrestleMania? That was a report that came out. It was rumored that this was going to happen. It was supposed to be Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. Speaking about the future and developing the future and, you know, us, you know, some NXT guys and girls getting called up to the main roster after WrestleMania. We all saw what happened last year when Paige burst on the scene and won the Divas Championship her first night on the roster. Hey, who's to say that a guy like Kevin Owens couldn't come on to Raw the next night after WrestleMania and go against Seth Rollins for the WWE World Title? That's if Seth Rollins can successfully cash in his Money in the Bank contract. But maybe I'm looking a little bit too further into this. Speaking about the future, though, what about the Ascension? What the hell has happened to the Ascension? Okay, the WWE, we're going to give these guys some high marks. They're going to push them hard and tough. All of a sudden, they're gone. I don't know where they went. I don't know where they're at. I don't know what the WWE is thinking. I don't know if they've just kind of, uh, you know, drifted off the main roster. I don't know if they're going to be shipped back to NXT. Here's the thing, though, that I'm a little saddened about. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. You know, Sami Zayn, you know, what a, what a courageous battle that guy had. I mean... You know, coming from the ground up, winning the NXT title, finally proving all the doubters wrong, and then he gets it taken away from him from Kevin Owens. Uh, you know, it, it, it was a tough pill to swallow. There's no doubt about it. And I hope Sami Zayn gets more success. I hope Sami Zayn can become the NXT champion again because he's got the prowess. He's got the athleticism. He's got that in-ring skill, um, you know, that is just un unrivaled and it's, it's unmatched. That's the word I'm looking for. And... Um, when you have a guy like Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens and you, and he, knowing what they're about and knowing what they bring to the table and knowing what the future holds, although I can't go say we know the future holds, because say if Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn come to the WWE, will there be progress? Will they be pushed the right way? Will the WWE give them the ball and will they excel? We don't want to see these guys get watered down. We don't want to see them be a chump. We want to see them be the champ. We want to see them be regulated to what they deserve and what they're all about. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the impact that NXT is going to have on WWE. The developments, the future, the longevity, the prosperity, everything in between. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm looking forward to, quite frankly, quite frankly is your comments. This is the part of the episode where I get your opinions on the matter. Who should get called up to WWE after WrestleMania? And that is the best time because that's when a lot of people are watching. That's when you have more eyes on the prize. And, you know, NXT, you know, they deserve a lot more credit. I mean, NXT deserves a lot more viewers. They deserve a lot more fans. And I think, you know, WWE and Triple H are doing a great job on the brand. And, you know, they, they are going to become its own brand. They're going to, you know, they're going to go on the road. They're going to do a lot more traveling. They're going to get the word out there. And um, you want to talk about homegrown talent. You want to talk about uh, what the WWE is going to look like in the next 5 to 10 years. I think it's really safe. And especially that it's going to be in the hands of Triple H. With the rumors of Vince McMahon stepping down the next several years. I think we have a lot of things to look forward to. Right now, you know, there's the hard times. There's the detours. But we have stuff like this to look forward to. Your comments, your opinions. Subscribe.